subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for latest videos. Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see the PV and DS diagram for dual cycle. For that, let's get started. First, I'll mention the processes in case of dual cycle. So here are the processes in case of dual cycle. Dual cycle is also called as limited pressure cycle and here the heat supplied process is extended that is it is at constant volume and even at constant pressure. So this cycle is preferred for heavy duty diesel engines. Now, the first process is isentropic compression. It means the entropy remains constant. S1 is equal to S2, the notation of entropy. During 2 to 3, the volume remains constant. So V2 is equal to V3. 3 to 4 is constant pressure heat addition. So P3 is equal to P4. 4 to 5 is isentropic expansion. So S4 is equal to S5. 5 to 1 is constant volume heat rejection. So V5 is equal to V1. Now I'll plot the PV and TS diagram. Starting with the PV diagram first. Draw light vertical lines, that is two vertical lines. After drawing these two vertical lines, they are representing the constant volume processes. Then draw light horizontal line, which would represent the constant pressure process. Then draw two parallel curves. The first process 1 to 2 is isentropic compression. So this curve 1 to 2 and another 4 to 5, they both indicate the isentropic processes denoted by the law PV raised to gamma is equal to constant. Now during the isentropic compression process, initially the volume is V1 and after compression the volume becomes v2 and the pressure increases from p1 to p2 so this is the isentropic compression process during process 2 to 3 it is constant volume heat addition so volume remains constant from 2 to 3 so v2 is equal to v3 and the pressure increases from 2 to 3 so this is p3 and since it is heat supplied, I'll denote it as QS1. That is the first heat supplied, which is at constant volume. Next, there is another heat supplied from process 3 to 4, where the pressure is constant. P3 is equal to P4. And that is the constant pressure heat addition denoted by QS2. So QS1 indicates the heat addition at constant volume. QS2, the heat addition at constant pressure. So the heat addition processes are increased over here. Then 4 to 5 indicates the expansion process which is isentropic expansion. 
where the pressure drops from 0.4 to 0.5 and as during 1 to 2 we are supplying the compression work the arrow goes inside and during 4 to 5 we are getting the work output so that is the expansion work and during process 5 to 1 the heat is rejected out of the system so it is q suffix r and the volume remains constant so v1 is equal to v5 so this was the pv diagram next start starting with the th diagram here also first draw two light vertical lines after drawing two light vertical lines next draw a constant volume line which should be light and similar to this draw another constant volume line and constant volume lines are of diverging nature that is the area should go on increasing so this was the one constant volume line another constant volume line would be going in this way of diverging nature then draw a constant pressure line which would be less inclined than the constant volume line so this is v is equal to c line another v is equal to c line constant volume lines constant pressure lines are less inclined so this is p is equal to c showing constant pressure and less inclined than the constant volume line now joining all the points here Now the process 1 to 2 it shows isentropic compression so S1 is equal to S2 entropy remains constant and the temperature goes on increasing from T1 to T2 and during process 2 to 3 see here it is following a constant volume line because it is constant volume heat addition so 2 to 3 is indicating QS1 heat supplied during the constant volume heat addition after reaching point 3 the line goes on to follow the constant pressure line that is from 3 to 4 it indicates the constant pressure heat addition denoted by QS2 heat supplied during constant pressure process and we are getting the maximum temperature after heat addition at T4 so here T4 is the maximum temperature it has followed the constant volume line first for constant volume heat addition then it has changed to constant pressure line because the next uh, process was constant pressure heat addition during 4 to 5 we get the expansion so this is the expansion work which we are getting and here is the compression work which is input 4 to 5 the temperature goes on increasing entropy remains constant like here it was S1 is equal to S2 this is S4 is equal to S5 constant entropy process isentropic expansion after reaching up till here at point number 5 the heat rejection starts and it continues up to point 1 so the temperature is dropping from 5 to 1 and we are getting the heat rejection where heat is rejected to the surrounding or the atmosphere so this is the PV diagram for the dual cycle and the formula for the dual cycle remember it in a conceptual manner don't remember the final formula because that final formula is very large and you can make some errors in that so it is better to remember the formula in this way like efficiency of dual cycle would be the network upon total heat supplied network is heat supplied minus heat rejected and the total heat supplied is QS so remember the formula in this way that would be helpful and QS is addition of QS1 and QS2 that is the heat supplied at constant volume and the heat supplied at constant pressure heat rejected is again QR that is at constant volume so in this video we have seen how to draw the PV and TS diagram for a dual cycle 
and at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching